This is 2-4 road of base. Base, I have a suspicious crowd on the corner of Park Avenue and McMeckin Street. Every night they're out cruising the streets of their neighborhood looking for trouble, trying to stop it before it starts. They're cops, citizens on patrol in the Mount Royal Bolton Hill area. Some 60 volunteers use their own cars once a month, hoping that their visibility and posted signs in the neighborhood will scare off most criminals. Uh, this is a uh, COP home base. A home base operator working out of an apartment in Sutton Place relays information about suspicious activities to the police called in by the citizen patrol cars. We have doctors, lawyers, dentists, architects, mothers take their turn, fathers stay home, keep the babies in the evening. It's an assortment. A similar citizen's patrol group, also named as Baltimore's Best, operates out of a synagogue in northwest Baltimore and uses 300 resident volunteers who put seven civilian patrol cars on the streets of the Pikesville area every night. A police officer rides in the command car, which maintains communication with the other cars in case any of them spot any criminal activity while on patrol. It is not unusual for police to make arrests based on tips from the civilian patrol. Crime is on a downward trend, and it can only be uh, said that it has to be because of citizen involvement. Uh, Baltimore City has neighborhood watch groups, citizens on patrol groups. They're all eyes and ears for the police department. The third neighborhood group to be selected as one of Baltimore's best neighborhoods is the Franklin Town Road Improvement Association because of the improvements they've made in the neighborhood. I think this is beautiful that we can stand here and look down the alley and not see any trash. Not always this way? No. Uh, at one time, I had to call uh, the police to try to see if we could get somebody down here to clear the alley in the event of any, uh, any emergency that uh, an ambulance or a fire truck would be able to get through. How do you keep it clean now? Well, we decided to organize the blocks with the children, and each uh, household pay 25 cents a week, which would be a dollar a month. And in turn, we give this to the young people that's taking care of the area. A section of Franklin Town Road, which had been an eyesore, is now resplendent with new grass and flowers, and so is the park area, with the landscaping done by the residents. That's up to the community as to how they want to live. If they want to live with trash and garbage and what have you, it's up to them. I don't think Mayor Schaefer had anything to do with that. All they have to do is get up and do what he said, help themselves. Saving this gnarled old tree that overhangs Greenspring Avenue in Druid Hill Park has earned a fourth neighborhood group Baltimore's best honors. The tree is 350 years old and had to be strung with cables and pruned to save it. And Druid Hill Park's long forgotten Grove of Remembrance is the group's next project where trees were planted by women from every state who lost sons in World War I. The friends of Druid Hill Park want to replace markers and add a new tree to commemorate those who died in Vietnam. Here you need a lot of pruning and mostly a lot of feeding. Um, there are over 50 trees here and they all need care. 